Well, joining me now is the man of the moment, Dr. Adrian Hill. He's the director of the Jenner Institute at Oxford, and he and his team have been overseeing this, these trials. Well, congratulations, Dr. Hill. Is it early for celebrations? Uh, oh, well, these are interim results, but I have to say they are rather encouraging. Yes, we're, we're pleased. What, Dr. Hill, was the most surprising finding of these uh, trials for you? Because interestingly, of course, you, they're trials of two different doses as well, two different dosing regimens, and lots of interesting bits coming out. Well, well, it's good to hit 90% efficacy, uh, mm -hmm. but we were pleasantly surprised by the result that we measured on asymptomatic infection. These mm -hmm. are people who are infected but are well. And nobody had looked at that before. And we see that we get some protection against that endpoint in the trial as well, mm -hmm. suggesting that this vaccine might reduce transmission from infected people who don't even know they're infected. And that could be a key contribution to ending this pandemic if we can stop people infecting others. No, that's fascinating. And in fact, I think the uh, University of Oxford put out a video as well, if you can just play that. But just to explain, Dr. Hill, there were actually two different dosage regimes. Now, we've, you gave uh, two full doses of the vaccine a month apart, and that only had about over 60% efficacy. But the one where you gave a half dose had over 90% efficacy. Is that what you're going to follow now in the future trials? Yeah, that's the plan uh, from now on. And that was something of a surprise, a pleasant surprise, of course, because it not only gets us higher efficacy, which is also welcome, it means that in this very difficult two or three months coming up, where there won't be enough vaccine for everybody who wants it, mm -hmm. we can distribute twice as many doses because we're giving a half dose, at least for the first immunization. So that, that's a, a win in two ways, really. It's Better, a better outcome for the vaccinee, but also more vaccine to go around. Mm -hmm. So the main advantage then, if I could just uh, summarize what you just said, so that half the vaccine, uh, the half the dose of the vaccine gives a 90% efficacy. So this then means that you will actually be able to distribute it much faster in countries across the world. Not only that, that that's the, the plan going forward in the UK and in Europe. But we are also going to look at amending our U.S. trial, we learned from AstraZeneca today, to include that uh, lower dose regimen in the very large trial going on in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it's actually uh, great news as we are seeing a global uh, vaccine race with uh, Pfizer and Moderna. I mean, perhaps race is the wrong word, but it's been fantastic that we've had over up to 95% uh, efficacy results and now Oxford with the lower uh, dose regimen up to 90%. What do you think? Well, for us in India, at least, is lots of excitement because this can be stored at fridge temperature, the Oxford vaccine, and it's cheaper. How would you see this? What it actually means is we've now got three pretty good vaccines, uh, all in the 90% range for efficacy. But, you know, we're not competing against each other. We're competing mm -hmm. against the virus, which has been uh, winning for too long. And uh, these three vaccines now give us a really good shot at fighting back. And what will become crucial from now on is manufacturing supply. So there are a lot of people who already want this vaccine. There are going to be billions who may need it. And uh, that's never been done before. We've never vaccinated for any disease on this planet with more than half a billion doses in a year. So can we now be ambitious enough to do what we're saying with AstraZeneca, three billion doses for our vaccine, maybe billions more from the other companies? Because if you need two doses per person, as we do, you're going to need maybe 10 billion doses if you're going to vaccinate mm -hmm. most of the, of the world. So that's a huge ask. And we're delighted, of course, to be working with our major partner in India, in Pune, the Serum Institute of India, who have been manufacturing this vaccine with us since really May of, of this year. Right. So as you said, uh, it used to be 10 years, but now it's 10 months where vaccines are being rolled out. Thanks so much, uh, Dr. Hill, for joining me.